Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. Yep, yeah, got the haircut done before anyone says it in the comments below. But welcome to the channel. If this is your first time viewing it, give us a subscribe. We'll be really appreciated. A thumbs up, even a comment below. Anything will be deadly. So, there's a bit of light going into this week. There's a bit of positive talk. It's been floating around since Brentford beat Bournemouth the weekend. Eddie Hale, the deal is closer than ever now. Reportedly that we're going to reveal him at the end of the week, Thursday, Friday-ish, he's going to be our new manager. After two and a half months chasing this lad, well there's been a lot of talk before that, two and a half months of chasing him, we're finally going to get our man. 43 years of age, f four years, four to five years Premier League experience, a championship winner, a League One winner. He obviously got Bournemouth promoted as well from League Two up to the Premier League in the space of his time at Bournemouth. I'm excited. He's young, he's enthusiastic, he's going to bring a young coaching staff with him. It's a new build for Celtic. It's been an upsetting season as we all know, but we need to look forward now. We need to leave this disappointing campaign to side. The only thing that we should be looking at is reflecting on players' performances. We need to look at their body language at the, the games they played in. We want to see if they actually want to commit to the club. If they want to leave, let them leave. Let Odson go. Let Christopher Royer go, let Levy and Lee Cham, Tom Rogic, Beaton, whoever doesn't want to wear the short anymore, let them go and we'll, we can replace them. At the end of the day, football is a business, they're only a numbers. Regardless how much you love them, they're only a number. You know, they can always be replaced. Maybe not in a legacy way, but they can be replaced with ability. And that's the most important thing. It's a job. So, um, Eddie Hale, let's just get it over and done with because. We need to start getting our season tickets renewed. We need to start seeing the club engaging more with the fans. Now, I have, I've seen in recent times that they're obviously holding press conferences behind the scenes with Celtic Podcasts, which is fantastic to see. Never say never one day with myself in there. But um, it's good to see that we're getting more clarity behind the scenes and fans need to know where this club is going. Do we have a long-term plan? Do we have a four to five year plan where we're going to take the lead back next season we're going to try our best to qualify this season for the Champions League if we fall in the last hurdle if it's Europa League Europa League it is but Celtic need to rebuild the squad we can't be chasing every single avenue this season with a squad that majority of them are just born to they're not hungry they're not ambitious because Rangers will come back strong and we need to come back at a level stronger than we were previously last season it's no it's no if maybe it has to be done we need to show these fans if they get back into the stadium next season what it's about what it's like to be winners what it's like to win these scrappy games against Ross County Kilmarnock St Johnston these games St Johnston congratulations on winning the Scottish Cup as well by the way really good result to them doing the double congratulations but there's rumours that Olivia Nichams contract is going to be teared up this week it's reports from the football insider i don't know if it's true i still think olivier nichal has a future at celtic look he scored some crucial goals for him for us in our career double treble he scored he scored also a lazio some crucial goals he's forced goals against Partick Thistle. so it'll be interesting to see how this goes with olivier nichal i think he hasn't played the standards when he was working with Neil Lennon the last two seasons. His attitude has been stinking. He went to Marseille on loan in January. Didn't work out for him. Obviously, we all know what happened with Villas Boas. Villas Boas walked away from the Marseille job when Nachan came in. He didn't want him. So, it's interesting. This is an interesting one. The likes of David Tomo being linked with Villa, 7 million. It's not going to happen. It's all paper talk. They're convinced they're going to get him. I don't think they will. John McGinn might talk him into it, but... I think he has a, a really good, exciting career at Celtic. And obviously he won the fans player of the year, lot, which is good. Which is good from his fourth season at the club. Some crucial goals he scored. But the, he has some some qualities that we're looking to, should be building a team around Turnbull and Sorrow and McGregor. That's where it should be. That midfield needs to be stronger than ever, especially for the, the derby game the next season. And Turnbull needs to be a part of it. Turnbull needs to be the provider. Because Christy might go. Rodgers is... It's past it to be honest, which is and as much as I love Tom Rogic, great moments he's past it. I can see him moving on. There's talks of Griffiths moving on, that he's been up in Aberdeen looking at houses and property. I don't want to believe it until 
you see it and that's the truth it's all paper talk you know i don't want to give you an absolute load of speculation i'm just going what i've seen and i've seen on social media like it's all um christopher lawyer eight million to newcastle i think that's an absolute disgrace of a fee i think he's he's worth 15 million to be honest he's played european football with celtic he's won medals he's won leagues he ha- he's a really good centre back. I know he's not his original position is not centre back, but when he gets that ball, he's unstoppable when he makes them runs. The only t- the only con of Christopher is he's not he's not dangerous when it comes to set pieces in the opposition half. He's only scored two set pieces from the opposition half. Majority of the goals he scored for Celtic have been with his foot. Taking a run, scoring against Aberdeen. You know that that was a crucial goal. Scoring against Motherwell, scoring against Ross County away in that last season. So if Christopher Lawyer stays at the club, which Eddie Howe might talk him into it, he might talk into a lot of these players to rebuild that confidence, a new, a new style of football. You know, it's less than 60 days away from the Champions League qualifiers. It's one in times, but it can be fixed. It's not next week. It can be fixed. You just need to know where these lads want to be at, where they want to go in their career, because if they're not happy at the club, let them move on. Let get some sort of fee. There's talks of Ed. There's talks of Edward going to Leicester for twenty million. Look, at, I think that's a good deal. If if Brendan Rodgers and Leicester want to take Edward for twenty million, we get what sixty percent of the fee. Glad you take it. Glad you take it. Let him move on. Strikers can be replaced. Besides, like the likes of Henrik Larsson, you know he was hard to replace. Strikers can be, can be replaced. You know we've obviously lost Clamale in recent time. We've lost obviously. Um, Boy, I was coming back. He could be gone out the door. Griffiths is a question mark. We'd only have a Yeti there, and yet he's struggling with confidence. So this is a manager that has Premier League experience. He's he's worked with good players, good top class players. So let's see what he can bring. You never know. He might obviously bring a couple of players that he worked with at Bournemouth. Up to Celtic, the likes of Fraser could come, even though he's been at Newcastle. Um, we could see what happens there. So let me know what you think. Are you, are you buzzing? You think it's going to happen? You think it's just a load of paper talk? Or are you optimistic this is the week we're going to get Eddie Hill? Let us know and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Hell, hell.